Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. Hey, my first episode post the live stream. So I want to just say a huge thank you to two groups. Number one, well, actually three. Everyone that joined uh, the live stream, thank you so much for the support, for all the love. Really do appreciate uh, everyone joining. Uh, second, thank you for all my guest judges that joined. So Whiskey Mountains. Uh, Hood Somalier, my man Jack, and then also Jason and Brandy, the Black Bourbon family. So thank you for my guests as well. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to hang out with me a little bit. And then last but not least, all my patrons. I think I saw so many of my patrons that were on the uh, live stream. So thank you for all your support as well. I appreciate it. So today we are going to go ahead and dive into Nashville Barrel Company. And, uh, you know, I need to say just thank you to Nashville Barrel Company. First and foremost, I asked them for just small little samples of their products. And they actually sent me, <laughs> like, full bottles. So thank you very much, Nashville Barrel Company. Much appreciation. So when you think about Nashville Barrel Company, a couple things come to mind. Number one, what products do they have? So number one, they have a rum, which I'll do a complete separate episode for the rum. I want to, I want the rum to be all by itself, a complete separate episode for the rum, but they also make a bourbon and a rye. But when you think about who's kind of running the company, so who are the founders? What's the story? What are they all about, Bourbon Judge? So a couple of things come to mind. Number one, uh, started by two co-founders. So uh, Mike Hines and then also James Davenport. They are the co-founders of the company. Mike is actually the CEO. And uh, James is also a co-founder. It's more of like the chief uh, blender, picks out a lot of the barrels and very heavily involved as well. But then they also have the major uh, person who's really running the company is none other than Stella. Can't, I mean, the company can't run without Ste Stella. <laughs> All jokes aside, cute puppy. Uh, but no, Mike and James honestly run the company. What I like about them is that they're very transparent. So they said, listen, straight up, there's no like history of like they're the fifth or sixth generation from X, Y, and Z master distiller. It's none of that. They are just two good friends, started the company back in, well, originally started back in like in 2018 buying barrels for like their own kind of like barrel group or whiskey group, if you will. People love all the barrels that they were picking. They're like, you guys should do this full time, right? So they quit and end up uh, forming, forming this, uh, quit their day jobs, I should say, and end up forming Natural Barrel Company. So in uh, 2020, they actually released their first single barrel rye. And that was the first product that they had out in the market. And then last year, March of 2021, because they were buying so many barrels of whiskey, they actually opened up their own distillery in Tennessee to house all the source whiskey. I give them credit though, because they're very transparent. They are truly sourcing whiskey, but they're sourcing the best of the best. What does that mean? That means exactly that. Think of it from this uh, situation, I think, or example. They said that, you know, for example, out of like a hundred barrels that they may try, about 90% of those barrels or 90 barrels, they will push aside and say, hey, it might be good, but it's not exactly what we're looking for. It's not up to our standards. So they're only taking the criminal crim, the top five to 10% of those barrels. So I appreciate that. I'm thankful that they truly are finding just the best source whiskey and actually producing that for, for you know, under their own label. Um, but when you think about just natural barrel company as a whole, you may have seen some of their products actually out in the market. You might say to yourself, Bourbon Judge, I don't remember seeing these labels. Great, great point. So natural barrel company as actually has a subscription service. So a lot of us out there live in certain states where it's hard to get certain whiskey, certain bourbons or rise. They have a subscription service where each month you can get a barrel strength bourbon and a barrel strength rye. That is right here are these two labels folks so these are the two labels for the barrel strength bourbon and barrel strength rye that you can get from a subscription service itself i'm gonna go ahead and pour a little bit but you're probably wondering okay well bourbon judge that's the subscription service what about everything else that's out in the market so they basically have let's call it two different versions of their rye and one version of their bourbon Ugh, let me just get this out let me let me go ahead and dive into it real quick so they have when you think about their rye they have um it's a, the first one is they're a single barrel rye, meaning that it's a single barrel, typically a store pick that a certain liquor store owner has to work with them, partner with them to actually get a store pick uh, or a single barrel. The single barrels, typically for the most part, when you think about it from a, let's look at it from like an MSRP standpoint, it's typically like a, about a hundred dollar bottle. Obviously it's gonna depend on the store that you actually happen to find. Uh, I'll find pics of the rye and the bourbon just so you can see what the bottles actually truly look like for the uh, the single barrels. But the single barrel rye, it's um, typically about MSRP of about a hundred bucks. 
uh, it does have a 95 five uh, mash bill, so 95% rye, 5% malted barley, uh, and then from an age standpoint, so they're typically sourcing ryes, they're single barrels, anywhere from like five to nine years. So depending on the barrel your store gets, it might be five years, might be six, might be seven, eight or nine. All right, let me get into this nose real quick. So last thing I will say, now I'm sipping the barrel strength uh, rye. So this, this uh, bottle itself actually is 114.88 proof. Last thing I will say, this is their barrel strength rye, which is a single barrel. They also have uh, their, let's call it their small batch rye. The small batch rye, same mash bill, 95.5, but the MSRP on that one, a bit more affordable. It's only $60, but the proof on that one is 100 proof. So $60 MSRP, 100 proof, and that one is available, let's call it about, about eight other markets or states outside of Nashville, Tennessee. So they are growing and expanding. So more than likely, you will probably find the small batch rye in certain markets. However, again, if you can convince your local liquor store owner, maybe you can actually get a single barrel store pick of their barrel strength rye. But let's get into this nose real quick for the rye. We'll move, over to, move over to the bourbon just a little bit. All right, so from the rye standpoint here, what I like is that that 95.5 is just screaming out, I am pure rye. <laughs> I mean, it's like, woo, this is pure rye, baby. Very floral. Tons of like pepper, a little bit of vanilla, maybe like some uh, some cloves in there as well. A little bit of caramel, a little bit of oak, but just very floral, very spicy, but very sweet. Also, also get like some uh, like some honey and like apples in there as well in the nose. Very nice. Hey, I say this each and every week. Peace, cheers, salute. I appreciate everyone out there. Thank you for watching the Bourbon Judge and all the love and support. Cheers, everybody. Wow, damn. Coming in at 114.88 proof for this barrel strength. Everything from the nose transferred to the palate. Tons of like honey, tons of spice, tons of uh, vanilla in there as well. A little bit of caramel. Definitely very floral at the same time as well. So everything from the nose transferred to the palate. There's a little bit left and I gotta, I gotta, I gotta finish this off real quick. Wow. All right. That is very much a traditional rye. So here's what I'm going to say about this one. If you are someone that enjoys rye whiskey and you want a real rye, one that's very earthy, spicy, but sweet and well-rounded at the same time, that is for you. Absolutely an amazing rye. Now, I do know a lot of people out there that, let's call it, you might be more of like a, you might be a really big fan of like a Sagamore or a Pikesville that is a rye, but sips closer to a bourbon. It's all, I call it the, uh, the converter. When you're, when you're a bourbon drinker and you're trying to convert over to trying rye. If that's your palate and you're like, I can't handle very spicy rye, this might be a little bit out of your league. And I say out of your league, I don't mean in the way of like, it's out of your league, more in essence of, this is very bold, very robust, and it's a true straight rye, meaning 95.5 uh, mash bill. It's very bold, very flavorful. I actually love this. I think that's actually fantastic. Let me go ahead and get a little quick sip of water real quick. If I didn't say it before, the, um, the small batch rye, uh, the only difference other than it being 100 proof is actually a blend of four and eight year uh, barrels. So four and eight year barrels. But that, folks, very spicy, very well-rounded, really, really good. All right, now we're going to move over to uh, bourbon. <laughs> bourbon for the bourbon judge. Hey, real quick, three quick easy favors. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, drop a comment. And last but not least, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get the notifications each time I put out content. All right, so for the bourbon, other than the subscription service, they have... Uh, single barrel program only, meaning it's a single barrel. So again, kind of going back to the store picks. If you have a good relationship with the store manager or owner locally, make sure you request a single barrel a store pick of Natural Barrel Company. Uh, their bourbon only comes in a single barrel program. Uh, again, it's gonna be, a, uh, depending on from a, a price standpoint, roughly about $100 for the most part. Um, but I should say that the bourbon itself is that also is gonna be 
gosh, typically anywhere from like five, six, seven, eight years in age for the actual bourbon itself. Depends on which actual barrel you get, right? So it kind of depends. But this one here, a cast strength version, which is what the cast strength version would be for a single barrel as well. Let me get into the nose real quick. Ooh, quite. <laughs> This is sexy. This is, uh, wow. This nose is absolutely, goodness gracious, amazing. It's like a ton of, a ton of caramel. A little bit of like, almost like a pecan note there back there as well. So caramel, some pecans, maybe a little bit of like a vanilla, some car, some um, brown sugar as well. This is really, really nice. Goodness gracious. Oh, man. All right. All right. Hey, here we go, folks. Cheers, everybody. Wow. Wow. That is quite interesting. Hold on one second. I got to finish this real quick. Mm. Everything from the nose transferred to the palate. That had a long finish. This bourbon coming in at 115.6 proof. The finish was super long, very bold in the palate. That was absolutely amazing. One quick thing I have to call out. In the nose, I got a ton of like caramel, vanilla, maybe some um, pecans in there as well. In the palate, all that was still there as well as the finish. But what stood out, it had almost like notes of like grapes in there as well. I did not get that in the nose, but it was definitely there in the palate. That was actually amazing. I can't believe I'm going to say this. <laughs> I poured another one. This was so good. And you guys know me. I'm always going to keep it real no matter what. This might be, if I would have had this bottle in 2021, this might have actually cracked my top 10 bourbons of 2021. That was really, really good. This is absolutely, or as I kiss the bottle, fantastic. Nashville Barrel Company, you definitely have my business for sure. Peace, cheers, salute. I appreciate everyone out there. These are definitely both buys. Take care, everyone. See ya. Wow. That's damn good. <laughs>